Thanks, Mark. Let's start in my home city of Woonsocket. Last week, the growing drama over the proposed Invenergy power plant in Boroughville spilled over into our fair city. Chicago-based Invenergy has been working all year to get the permits it needs to begin construction on a 900-megawatt gas-fired power plant. That effort has brought increasing waves of public protest on a number of different related issues. The use of open space for industrial development was one. Then there was the use of natural gas to fuel the generator. That was said to be a problem since it promoted hydraulic fracturing as a, a method to mine the gas. Finally, the big sticking point seemed to be that the local water system in Barville did not have the capacity to supply the plant's needs for cooling water. This controversy arrived in Woonsocket when the protesters' organization, Boroughville Against Spectra Expansion, or BASE, turned out for a meeting of our city council. There it became apparent that the administration of Mayor Lisa Baldelli Hunt was in talks with Invenergy to supply the needed water to the proposed facility. The actual details of the talks between the energy company and the city had been discussed with city council members in executive session and could not be made public. Just the suggestion, however, was enough to trigger a relitigation of the entire proposal and protest. It turns out that the Boroughville site is a natural for this development because it sits at the confluence of two major natural gas pipelines and within easy reach of another. That means fuel would be plentiful and available at the best price based on the three potential sources. Whatever you think about fracking, it is being done and it has made energy, America energy independent again. The gas is presently flowing through those pipelines and someone is going to use 100% of it. So the argument against promoting the process seems to have been an afterthought. Everyone needs electrical energy. Even the most devoted of the base protesters wants to be able to recharge his or her cell phone and cook dinner whenever they please. Neither solar nor wind power generating systems could even come close to matching the 24-7, 900 megawatt output of the proposed gas-fired plant at anything like its size, cost, or reliability. As for Woonsocket, Lord knows we could use the income. So this battle is being fought on a philosophical rather than ecological or economic basis. Folks, it looks like you can stand by for some heat and light from the base protesters in Woonsocket, at least until the water question is resolved. But it won't be the kind of heat and light they can use to recharge all those cell phones. Mark?